Gaming Division. Hey there, I am Camry from the future, or at least as far as this video is concerned. Um, I got the, uh, let me make sure I'm pointing at it correctly, the, the Tano big box thing from the Kickstarter. You can see I've got all my sets here. Perspective is not one of my superpowers. Um, in the main box, which I think is at the bottom, uh, it's possible there was a printing error. Um, and if you will contact the, the fun folks over at the warehouse, uh, I think it's info at Japanime Games, and um, uh, they'll they'll get you in touch with the warehouse, the right people. If you let them know that your box has this, this, and this wrong with it, they will send you a little thing. Um, they were actually kind enough to send this uh, a couple times. They have one of the greatest friggin' warehouse teams ever. Um, to be quite honest, uh, it, it is. Uh, Really, it was really effective and a pleasure to uh, work with them to get this resolved because um, they they just wanted to make sure that I was happy and that uh, everything was taken care of. I'm going to actually take this out and make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, sweet. All right, so that can go over there. Kitties will play with that later. Um, I was actually missing some stuff out of the Kickstarter, too, so they did send that to me. Um, We'll do that really fast, and then I'll go over what's actually wrong. Um, so I was missing, like, the pictures of the the nice ladies who modeled for a lot of these. Um, I wasn't really, like, super concerned about this. It's not like I don't have the internet uh, to get cute ladies. Um, but I was missing uh, that promo card. Uh, I thought I was missing more than that. I could be wrong. Um... So I will check that against what I got, and that'll be fine. Um, if you find this, this is this is what they they send you to to fix the thing because they know it's a mass production error. It's a whoops, we made an error in the production of this game. An error was made. In this pack, you will find 13 bad habit cards and eight illness cards. Please add them to your game and play as normal. In addition, you will find the following extra cards in your copy of Tano Curry: uh, Rose Topaz, Lucine Del Moro, Marlboro, Tanya Peruska. Uh, nine Nord Twilight, nine Amber Twilight. Please remove these cards to ensure a smooth and accurate deck build experience. We're sorry for the mistake. Enjoy your game, Japan Anime Games. Uh, wonderful, wonderful company, and they just found out recently they have a Kickstarter, or they ended a Kickstarter for Art of the Crown, which is another great deck building game. Um, so check that out. Um, so with no further ado, um, we will get on with the video, and you will see me make some questionable faces at the cards I got, and this was the resolution. So, uh, Enjoy. Salutations! I am Cameron Ryan. Welcome to Gaming Division. This is an unboxing for I don't know what. Tenor Curry, the big box limited edition. If you back the Oktoberfest Kickstarter, and I sympathize with you terribly about the delay, etc., etc., but the day will come when it is worth. When you get your stuff, <laughs> it was it was quite the wait, uh, and you can't change any of that. They can't change any of that. There was just a little bit of clever dickery when they tried to present it as coming out one day, and they had planned for it to come out in October, and then they got delayed past that because uh, I don't think they they pushed to have it done ahead of time. Uh, I think it's totally worth it to have it pushed and done ahead of time, and then surprise everybody with it a month early, if not on time, than to have it be late ever. But I digress because this is an unboxing for Tana Curry. Uh, if you have a handy dandy uh, helper device, go ahead. Now, uh, apparently, when they sent out the big box, there was a card or two that was missing, or they sent it to try to compensate for the delays. So, in this envelope, oh, there's actually a little note. Hi there! We forgot to include a promo card in our most recent Kickstarter package to you. Here's our missing Mimosa card! Happy gaming. Uh, and for those not familiar, that's what the back of the card looks like. And there's M Mimosa. Uh, if I remember correctly, she is part of the whole, uh, the resort, the holiday vacation package or whatnot. So we'll, we'll see where she pops up here in a minute. I'm super excited! Because I've never seen a physical card game. Uh, in person. I've seen it online. Um, I play the iPad edition every now and again. And I love that. 
Um, let's see. Come on. Oh, Brandon says it's me. Ha ha. You just gotta say their secret password. Right. Safety, safety, safety. Safety is important. All right, so you're gonna open this up. You're gonna get a bunch of paper. I'm trying not to hit things. You probably shouldn't do that because apparently there's some loose stuff up here. Um, so of course you've got an invoice, which I'm not gonna show you. Um, like I said, there's some loose stuff. There are the promo packs for the special cards, and we'll get to those in due time. Oh wow, an eight pointer. I'll uh, get those. Okay, so there should be a bunch of boxes about this size. This is the Oktoberfest one. Jesus. Uh, here's the vacation one I mentioned. Uh, I believe that's the base game, Marianne on the front. And the Expanding the House edition, which is the true expansion. Uh, there's a playmat here, which I will get to in just a moment. Looks like there might be two of them. Uh, oh, jeez. How do you get this out? Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't want to do it. Ta-da! The big box. And I'm curious if that's going to be worth the money and, and wait for that. Because this did delay the, the project. It was 50 bucks to... In addition, it's supposed to be a numbered collector's. Uh, so this is 643 out of 2,000. There's only 2,000 of these. Um, and there's stuff in there. I think it's the randomizer cards and dividers. But um, I don't know where to start. Uh, I think I'm going to get the, all the special maids out of the way. Um, are there... There should be some way to tell these apart. Well, 2014, 2015, 2009, 2010. Why are these all together? These got to be the special ones for the original, then. Maybe not. Uh, Colette was with the original. Why is she in here? I am very confused at this point. Um, I guess it's a special promo? I don't... They're, they're numbered. They're promo numbered. So, 6, 12, 2, 11. We may have to break these down and just look at... Like, I've got two Colette packs. Um, I, I know this one and this one, Oktoberfest, because there's the beer lady and then the party girls special one, which I don't know why they did a photo. It's supposed to be an anime-style game. Another PR-12. I think they sent me duplicates. Tony Darling said this is more Oktoberfest. Uh, so we're going to put all the promo stuff and we'll come back to that. Uh, I think I want to open the big box first. Um, I know it may it feels out of order. But I definitely want to open this up. Um, I'm running out of white boxes too for, for deck builders and stuff. Um, so if this is worth... Using, I want to do that. Uh, part of me wanted to keep it sealed because it is a collector's item. Um, again, only 2,000 in the world made. Now, they'll make more, but they won't be the, the numbered collector's one. Yep. Yep, okay. Oh, come on. Give me that pop. I love it when you open up a new board game and you get that pop from the vacuum. Come on. Okay, I didn't get the, my pop. That's what the uh, the front looks like there. Ugh. So there's the randomizer deck that apparently they never bothered to put in the game. So... Both those have the Oktoberfest girls on the front. So we're going to have to open these up and see if they actually have... Ha 
have if they actually have cards from all the sets or just the latest because that doesn't seem like it would be very useful. Um, and I think I'm still gonna have to do dividers, which is fine. Um, so flipping through here. Now they're all going to say 2014 on them because that's when the randomizers were made. Um, I'm seeing some that could very much be vacation ones as well. Oh, they're actually labeled 2010. So I think, yeah, so I think like half of this is, oh wow, 2009 already. Yeah, so I think there's randomizers for all of the private maids, if, uh, if not all the cards. Um... I'm just not familiar enough with the game in practice. Um, oh, did they all? Okay. So, for whatever reason, these have orange packs. Um, these have purple, and all the rest of these are this nice blue. So, okay. I definitely recognize... Uh, a couple of these as, or I thought I did, yeah, as the base, uh, from the base game. Uh, Saffron's in here, Anise Greenaway, uh, Kigari, the Crescents, um, so, yeah, Genevieve, so, yeah, so a lot of these are just random randoms, um, I don't understand what the purple and the and the orange backs are. Maybe you're only supposed to have uh, one of each of these in the game based on some rules that I'm not seeing. Uh, now the Marianne is in the orange one, so these may be large point uh, cards that don't come out of your deck. Like you don't chamber these, um, so maybe you only want so many of those. Um, Oh, these are made chiefs uh, here, so you only want uh, so many of those, I think, at any time. Um, and then the rest of these are just randomizers, which I'm generally thankful for. Uh, to be able to play with all the expansion, with a lot of expansions for games that require uh, different stacks in the stock, uh, you definitely need that sort of thing. Now, what I wanted to do, we'll put that there. Um, let's see, make sure these are in the right order. Yep, so we'll go through these. Oh, I've got a thing to unravel. We'll go through these in order. And we'll try to put them in the big box. I think that'll work for the most part. Um, plastic... I'm going to open anything. I'm going to have to open a couple more things. Before we get on to any more of the cards, they sent what I think is a playmat. Oh, they sent two playmats. Did they just give me two of the same? I think it's. I think I failed to make a choice. Um, so they sent me two of these. Uh, which is fine. I actually I think this is a very tasteful one. Um, I actually don't want big anime boobs all over my table. It's not a, a thing I strive for in life. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this over here. I don't really do playmats, but it's nice. It's, it's good that they have something else going for it. So put that up there. We've got our promo cards. We've got randomizers. Let's open up our very base game. Now, this is going to go a lot more quickly than you would think. Because I'm not going to break down every card for you. Um, I may mention things that are notable. I want to cover what you actually get in the boxes. Um, but you get this cute little thing, kind of like Barbarossa has, where it's a little flip top. It's just a decorated, nice quality, uh, old-style card box. Now, the rules are pretty straightforward. Um, it is... Six pages back, uh, so 12 all together, um, and they go into individual cards for half of that. So it's the, the rules are pretty straightforward. If you can get into the structured routine, you're fine. Um, this looks exceedingly like Barbarossa. Um, 
to the point where it actually has the little card divider in it. Uh, but it's a cute little can of Tana curry wine instead of, uh, you know, the German cross. Um, now, for whatever reason, there's some weird cardboard in here. Like, there's some blank ones, which I think are supposed to be dividers. Um, there's some larger ones, which are dividers. There's only two of those, though. Uh, and then you have this. Uh, and then you have... What I can only assume are either dividers or placeholders for the... I wanted to say the village, but this isn't Thunderstone. Uh, but for the, the area where you, you buy or you purchase cards or hire maids from. Um, I don't remember what that area is called. But yeah, so there's there's illness there as well. So you could use it as dividers and um, as uh, however you want to say it. The... Uh, the placement placeholders for the cards. Um, again, that's what the back of the cards look like. Uh, cute little hearts and stuff. Uh, you've got uh, maids or whatever. Um, love cards. You've got some basic private maids in there. Um, oh, there's actually more than one? I didn't know that. So are there two? Apparently there's two of each maid. I didn't realize that was the case. Um, maybe it's four replacement cards, but I wouldn't expect you to actually put more than one. Oh my god, there's like four of her? Five? What is happening? Okay, so I'm going to have to read into that. Uh, because, like, the, the I think they're Twilight Sisters or whatever. Um, yeah, there's five of them, and they have negative consequences, uh, like negative victory points. And there's, oh my god, there's like eight of her? Like, that's all Nora Twilight. That's insane. Um, so maybe they're supposed to be more common, but I think you could still only have one. I could be wrong. Um, but you can only have one private maid at any given time, so we'll, uh, yep, there's more Ambers. Okay, so I'm not even going to note that, because this is all very basic cards. You play Tana Curry at all, you're familiar with these. Um, the artwork is kind of fantastic. Uh, some of them are very questionable in style, but um, it is fairly good artwork in general. Uh, I'm going to put that in there for now. Oof. Okay, now expanding the house I've never seen before. I know it has like gardens or something. It's got a, a particular uh, new mechanic that they they introduced. So we'll see how much it matches up with the first game uh, and everything. So you got a very plain rule set. It'll oh, it's it's made a little bit better. It's made short. Um, looks like. Yeah, it looks like the same size. 12 pages is just formatted slightly different. Um, another little cute little thing that they use to, to separate out the cards or fill the gap or whatever you want to call it. You get more blank card dividers. Uh, and you have more of the placeholder dividers there. I actually like, really like that they include those. Uh, I can't emphasize that enough because it's very helpful for organizing card games like this. Um, so, okay, so looking at this, it looks like you could actually play this on its own. It's kind of slightly more lewd love card picture. Um, this is the one that I always see in my head. Uh, it's the one where she's kind of riding the pillow. Uh... <laughs> So, that's what it is. I'm not going to defend the the stylization or the theme of this game at all, but... Um, 
It is what it is. You can't stand it. Don't. Um, so it's got what's called gardens. Uh, if you have four or more gardens in your private quarters, you cannot be the target of any further events. I'm not sure what an event is. Uh, and then you have estates, so or gardens, buildings as well. They are so buildings are the new mechanic. Um, you cannot buy an estate unless you can place a made chief from your hand under it. The made chief is put beneath the estate and cannot be the target of an event card. So events have to be like illnesses and bad habits. Uh, lily garden. You cannot buy a lily garden unless the total number of gardens and chamber made Ririku Ruriko is in your private quarters exceeds your number of lily gardens. Um, and of course, you have more private maids. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to like point out the differences in the types of maids because you you've got the same sort of thing going on for the most part. Um, during your starting phase, you may discard your entire hand if you do draw five cards. Uh, during your starting phase, you may discard one two love card from your hand if you do draw three cards. So, I mean, they're all going to have things like that. Uh, some of them are just victory points, like uh, climb in Silvestri is four points. Uh, some of them are negative points, like Mika Yakushido. Um, this may, may be placed in any player's private quarters. So this is essentially a curse card. Uh, you must discard one love card from your hand if you can't reveal your hand and put Mika back at the bottom of the private maid pile. That sounds like I'd rather just enter the bottom of the private maid pile. Oh, you must discard one love. Okay. And eventually you get to a point where that's not a problem. Uh, and then Ririko Hiragawi Hiragi. I don't know why I added the Gawa. Uh, Chambermaid, minus one for the orders. Uh, as long as Ririko is your Chambermaid, you may treat Lily Gardens if they cost five. Okay, so there is a, a definite shift there. I'm not going to go over everybody, but like they've got a bunch of cute little silly maids. Some of them are much rather more perverted than Some of them are very Sindari. Like that one has a sword, Lilic Hawkwind. Um, so it really varies a lot, and, uh, you could say this is someone's perverted fantasy, and maybe you're right. Um, Claudine is worth eight. No, she costs eight, she's worth five. Okay. Um, and it looks like Alain de Roy is a maid chief, so she's the expanding house version of, uh, Claudette? No, what's her name? I know she's here. Colette. I don't know what I said. Um, honestly, I'm kind of regret opening these up. I want the random. I wanted the randomizer cards, but these boxes, like I've got one for Barbarossa. I really feel like they're they're pretty dependable, um, and they're just like white boxes. That I would use, I'd just be a card house for them. I just know if they make a card house this size. Um, so this is the Tenacuri uh, Romantic Vacation expansion. Another little thing. I know it adds another mechanic. It looks like they keep. I like. I like. It seems like they're they're very insistent about keeping their booklets to a certain size. Um, and not that it has, let's say, that many new things. Uh, but we got more dividers and more blank ones. Um, I don't know if it was notable, but the first ones were pink, the second ones were orange, and the, uh, the third ones are blue. Um, yeah. I don't know if it matters in the whole world. Uh, and then another cute little Tanakuri divider. Okay, so the whole point of this is that I guess that you're on vacation, and so everybody's going to be dressed like they're in a tropical place. So uh, I'm sure there's going to be bikinis instead of the Lolita-type dresses. Um, but that's what the love card is, is some girl with a pillow behind her and a bikini winking. I don't know. Um, and then Reminiscence. Uh, we've got Scary Night, Picnic. Uh, 
What the? So Scary Knight has a, a section on it that says one card with an employee cost three, one card with an employee cost two. Every other player discards down to three cards in their hand. Picnic has made cards with a total employee cost of ten or more. Put three, three two love cards from the town into your discard pile. River canoeing. Put one made uh, five love cards. Put one made card from the town into your discard pile. So there, it seems like they have an associated cost. Instead of paying just general love, you've got to do something silly towards it. Um, underwater cave discovery, which is kind of hilarious looking. Uh, Ten victory points, four general made cards, each with an employee cost of five or more. Um, and again, like I said, it seems like a excuse to put maids in bikinis, which you would think would be... What's the word? Counterintuitive? Uh, mutually exclusive, but they are finding ways around it. Um... Sorry, I stopped to look at this one not because she's in a bikini or something, because the buttons on her thing made it look like she was in armor. Um, but I don't think that's it. So, yeah, I mean, like... <laughs> your serving face ends immediately. Yeah, great. Um, it's got lots of good art on it. I, I'm trying to see if there's anything in particular I can point out. Um... But if you know the way the game works, there's certain things that work for abilities and other ones. Um, this is basically a library from Dominion. Cynthia Lakes, plus four cards. Each other player draws a card. Uh, this is not great. Um, Chambermaid Florence Spring. Chambermaid minus one serving, plus two hearts. If you have seven or more Chambermaids or Chambermaid Chiefs in your private quarters, Florence grants an additional five victory points. Uh, oh, wow. Lydia Leon is playing fast and loose with the definition of a uh, nude there. Um, like that one I'm really not on board for, but, I mean, I, I can't stop them. Uh, the Island Folk made Laura looks a lot like the promo card we got in. Um, and it looks like each set they're keeping one made that you can't chamber that's worth a lot of points. Um, like cost eight or nine is worth five or six. Um, and then you've got... Chamber uh, ch each time you've got a, ch uh, a chief that's worth two orders to chamber instead of one. Um, this one is Beatrice Escudo. 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 I don't know. That's supposed to be Spanish or what? Um, I kind of want to compare real quick. Oh no, she's just got similar tattoos on her uh, chest. I'm gonna lift that. Be whatever it is. I didn't make this game. I like the mechanics. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play about it every time. It's like, yeah, May uniforms are great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh, and anyway, chicks are cute, hot, whatever. Uh, let's play a game. Um, I'd much rather it would be just uh, maybe turn it down just a notch. Um, Personally, but I'm not going to hold it against them for doing what they want to do with it. I mean, I, I I bought Barbarossa. My reach for what I can say is so limited. Um, but this is the the new Oktoberfest. So this is the the big thing. Of course, they're going to have big breasted beer stein women because that's a whole thing with Oktoberfest for for whatever reason. Um, I don't get beer, so one, two, three. Five, six, seven. So they went to 14 for Oktoberfest. I wonder what was so important they had to add in. Interesting. Um, okay, so I had some cards mixed up for once. I have to say these were all very well put together. Um, the first three packs uh, went very much cards, 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 divider, and then um, more dividers, and there were blank ones in the other ones. So no blank ones this time. I really don't know what they're for. Oh, and the, the blank dividers are actually wrapped into here. And these are like a yellowish orange as opposed to a red orange. 
So, and then a cute little divider. I would assume it would have been brown, but they didn't do that for whatever reason. Maybe Oktoberfest is supposed to be orange. I don't, I don't know. Um, so, again, we've got Ten Love for six. I think the other one... Oh, she's a maid chief as well. The, other, or the original set, it's uh, nine for six. But uh, for Nic- or Angela Bruner, Bruner uh, at the end of the game, if you have... More than three Nicole in your deck, Andrew gains an extra one VP. So she has a potential seven, so that ten's definitely uh, understandable. Um, and it looks like they're throwing a little bit of Germany into their artwork here, definitely. More than just the uh, Oktoberfest thing. Um, and Japan traditionally has a good association with Germany despite the war, so... There's that. Some Tony Darlings. I thought she was a special. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, like lots of beer ladies. I think that's the new mechanic is not drunk or anything, but like having beer uh, as a mechanic, and we'll get there eventually. Um, I grabbed them the wrong way around that time, so. Oh, yep, there's something there. They were actually underneath the cards. The, apparently, they got jumbled a bunch. So, blue cards, blue cards. Oh, we have new purple cards. So, new events. Uh, Envy. Uh, at the beginning of the employee phase, all employee costs of May cards are increased by one. This effect can overlap only up to two. So, it's stackable up to two. Uh, at the beginning of your turn, return a May card with an employee cost four or more to the town. You do put this card back to the town. So it's a stalling uh, event as opposed to a like permanent um, disallowment or uh, negative points. So that's good. Um, and let's see, we've got another one, Heavy Storm. Uh, this, play, this is placed onto a building in any player's private quarters. All cards are placed underneath. Uh, this card are treated as though they don't exist. At the beginning of your turn, you may discard a three love card from your hand. You do put this card back to the town. Wow. Oh, and then we have a Let Me Drink uh, event. When you gain this card, put this onto your private quarters. At the beginning of your turn, discard a love card from your hand. Remove this card from the game. If you do, take a beer card from any player's private quarters and add it to your private quarters. Interesting. So we've got additional buildings, so they're actually playing off mechanics for the other ones, which is probably uh, why the extra rules. Um, and the building is Beer Fest. When you gain this card, you may put a, a beer card under this card from your private quarters. Uh, the beer card under this card cannot be targeted by Get Drunk or Let Me Drink. So apparently there's another thing that I either missed or just something else. Uh, and the love this time is actually a couple of the... Oktoberfest girls. There's still a pel- the pillows. I don't understand what the, the, fanat- the fanaticism is with the pillows, but they're just hanging out. Um, oh, but when they, the art changes this time, when you go from one to three, was two any different? Yeah. Uh, okay, so they're essentially getting drunker as, as uh, time goes on. Um, okay, so the beer cards are the new mechanic. Let me get these out of my hand and grab the rest of them. So you've got a beer stand, you've got a uh, get drunk card, Oktoberfest, Wise Beer, Pilsner, Out Beer. I'm assuming these are just types of beers. Bach. Um, oh, apparently there's another general made that I missed and a three love card. So I'll get that in place in a minute. Um, What's interesting is there's only one beer stand and two get drunks. Uh, so the beer stand is when you gain this card, put it in your private quarters until the end of, of your next turn. Any player may pay four love to get a beer card during their employee phase. <coughs> turn the card face down at the end of your next turn and put it with your beer cards. Uh, and then get drunk is when the card is drawn or revealed, the turn, the turn player... Checks the alcohol value. If it's nine or more, you must discard one beer card randomly then remove this card from the game. So, um, looks like Oktoberfest is one, Rottweiser is one, Pilsner is two, 
Alpiers 3 in box 5. So you apparently are tracking how drunk you are. Um, okay, we're going to go through the private maids real quick, I think. Uh, let me cut just to sort this out. Oh, I didn't even notice. The beer cards have their own cute little backing. Um, as cute as beer can be. So let me fix this and we'll do private maids. All right, very quickly, I want to go through the uh, the promo cards and kind of see what's what's happening with them. Because I had expected them to all be private maids, but that doesn't quite look to be the case. So we're going to figure this out together. Uh, I'm going to go with the ones that I recognize being from the first edition first, and the second one's second. I have no idea where that one's from. Uh, and then, obviously, the Oktoberfest one's last, if I can manage it. Pretty sure these go together. Okay. So, for whatever reason, I have two packs that have collided the front. Let's kind of see what's going on with them. These kind of just look like alternate art. Um, maybe the rule's different. No? Like, they look like a slightly different format. And let's see if the other pack's any different. Just happens to have another clay at the front. No? So I got two packs of five promo cards each for the first set. Two, one, two, three, four, and five. For whatever reason, they gave me two packs of one through five. Um, I don't know how I feel about that at this present time. Uh, we'll see in probably just a minute. So, theoretically, I should have six through ten here. It looks like I've got two packs of those for whatever reason. Um, yeah, so six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I'm not familiar enough with the expanding the house to know if those are special or different. They may just be different cards um, or different variations of the existing cards. Uh, it's a shame that I can't tell you that right here, right now. Um, for whatever reason, these are in a sleeve for the uh, romantic vacation. And see, so this is 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So I'm missing 11. And what's weird is that I have the mimosa that was missing. So let's see if, yeah, I have, so I have three mimosas for whatever reason. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand what's happening. I'm going to have to email them <laughs> and figure it out. Um, and I'll have to look it up and see what I was originally supposed to have. Oh, okay, so I do have 111. So I've got three 15s, 111, and then two of everything else. Um, what I am missing, because that was 16, so I'm missing... Uh, okay, it's possible...
Nope. Okay, because this is 20, 21. No, 22, 24, and 25. Oh, here's 22. And 19. So I'm missing 17 and 18. And then 26 is the weird one where they're all eating. So I'm gonna have to look up and see what those promo cards actually are that I'm missing. Uh, I, I just I have no idea why they sent me so many extras. Um, but given that if they don't add anything rule wise, uh, I don't care. I really don't. Um, so I'm gonna have to compare it to the private maids that exist um, and go from there. So you know what? I'm gonna take a moment. Uh, I'm gonna let the camera keep rolling for a bit, and I'm gonna look at what's there versus what's in the promos and uh i will come back with an answer in just a moment okay so i went through the rest of it i got organized uh it looks something like that when you get it all put in the big box uh crazy amount of extra space in there you would think that they would know how to deal with that but um the uh, there's enough of a discrepancy of things uh, between the promo cards and the original set that uh, I have to categorize and document everything and then send it into the Japan Day Games uh, because um, they did not do a very good job. Uh, sometimes when you back a Kickstarter, it really pays out. Other times it gives you a bigger thing to deal with, um, especially since the main issue is on the original set, not like one the the latest one that came out to be determined but uh i'm gonna stop wasting time with this uh at least on camera and um this has been an unboxing for the tana curry big box uh collector set from kickstarter uh tana curry through oktoberfest until you see me next time i'm camera and that's game over if you want to see anything else we're up to, go to click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels. Thanks for watching.